How are you doing? You enjoying it so far? Yeah. I'll fix that. Um, I'm going to read an excerpt from this um, fantastic book. So all those book tokens you got at Christmas. Um, it's a damn fine read, even though I say so myself. I ended up writing a song with one of these guys. And again, you know, I'm talking to this guy who's sitting next to me in the, the bus the first couple of days, and I say, and what have you done? He said, I've written a couple of things. I said, well, what? And he got the guitar up, and he went, wild thing. I went, fucking hell. <laughs> I ended up writing a song with one of these guys. And again, you know, I'm talking to this guy who's sitting next to me in the, the bus the first couple of days, and I say, and what have you done? He said, I've written a couple of things. I said, well, what? And he got the guitar up, and he went, wild thing. I went, fucking hell. <laughs> the exact same. The whole system is one great big machine. And I've, I've, been, I've fallen foul to this machine many, many times. You create something that you feel is important. It's the best thing you've ever done. And you feed it into the front end of the machine. And it goes through all the system. It goes through the artwork department. It goes through the advertising agency. It goes through the pluggers. It goes through to the radio. Um, the DJs, they play it. Hopefully somebody goes out and buys it. But it only takes one little cog in this machine to not work. And the whole thing grinds to halt. So instead of having this record that goes on the top end and pops out the bottom, and you've got yourself a hit record, it falls through the floorboards. And if it falls through the floorboards, whether it's a record or whether it's what you guys do, it doesn't get to the people who need it, the people who want it. It doesn't come to fruition. It's just another failed object. Last few years, we've had pop idol, which drives me crazy. <laughs> it drives me absolutely crazy. It's just, what is it about? Is it about the TV show? Or is it about the end product? You, you find, I don't know, hundreds of really bad karaoke singers. And you stick them on a television show that's prime time television. And the television show is paid by the people who pick up the phone and phone in and vote. So whoever's got the entire thing sewn up, Simon Cowell, um, is laughing all the way to the bank. Because he doesn't give a toss whether any of these people make it through to the end. And I think possibly nobody else does either. You know, you just look, you look back at what's